for the last eight years that the Modi government has been in power, all of us have read stories about how the Prime Minister's office has become a centralized power center. But not many of us will know the men and women behind the PM's team. Hello and welcome to The Print. I am Moshumi Das Gupta and in this special broadcast, we take a look at the senior bureaucrats who form the pillars of the PMO and the responsibilities each of them handle, though they are the ones who ensure that the PM's vision gets translated into reality, they are among some of the most low-profile but powerful bureaucrats in the country. In the eight years of the Modi government, the power dynamics within the PMO has also changed. Many of the officers in the PMO who Modi had handpicked from Gujarat and brought to the center have moved out. These include officers of the likes of Nipin Mishra, who was the principal secretary to the PM, Bhaskar Khulbe, who was the secretary to PM, TV Somanathan, Tarun Bajaj and AK Sharma, all additional secretaries in the PMO. While Mishra is now overseeing the construction of the Ram Janbhumi temple in Ayodhya, TV Somanathan has become the finance secretary, Tarun Bajaj is the revenue secretary, and AK Sharma has joined politics and is currently the urban development minister in Yogi Adityanath government. Heading the PMO now is a soft-spoken retired Gujarat cadre IS PK Mishra, who is the principal secretary to the PM. He oversees all important policy issues, the agenda of cabinet meetings, all appointments and issues related to the ministries of law and justice and personal. Then you have Ajit Doval, national security advisor, who looks into everything related to national security, from external affairs to defense and external intelligence agency, the research and analysis wing, among others. Both Mishra and Doval have cabinet ranks. Below them are the two advisors to the PM, retired IS officers Amit Khare and Tarun Kapoor. Khare, a 1985 batch Jharkhand Kader IS, handles rural and agriculture verticals, while former Petroleum Secretary Kapoor a 1987 batch Himachal Kader officer looks after the infrastructure sector. Besides the top four, the PMO's senior hierarchy also comprises four additional secretaries, three joint secretaries, two private secretaries, ten directors, four officers on special duties. If you are wondering how does the PMO work with all these officers, here is the answer. Each of the senior officers drafted from Indian Administrative Service Indian Foreign Service and Indian Revenue Service head different verticals like social, welfare, rural, foreign and security, finance and economy, technology and governance, infrastructure and resources and human resources. Each of the additional secretaries and joint secretaries in turn work with a team of two to three directors and deputy secretaries. Unlike in Modi government's first term, the PMO does not have a secretary now. The post has not been filled since the once powerful West Bengal cadre IS Bhaskar Khulbe left after his term got over. Khulbe joined the PMO for a second stint again as advisor to the PM in February 2020 for a period of two years. Let me now run you through the senior bureaucrats in the PMO and their responsibilities. Punya Salila Shivastava, a 1993 batch IS of Agmut cadre, is an additional secretary and has been with the PMO since October 2021. Extremely low profile, she handles social and welfare verticals encompassing the ministries of health and family welfare, education, skill development, social justice, tourism and culture. Besides, she also monitors announcements to be made by the PM, coordinates with the delivery monitoring unit and thrust areas of government. Shivastava who joined the PMO from the Ministry of Home Affairs became a familiar face during the COVID pandemic as part of the team of senior officials drafted by the center to brief the media daily. Shivastava, a master's in physics from Delhi St. Stephen's College, used to answer media queries about measures taken by the government to tackle the pandemic in prolific Hindi. Arvind Shivastava, a 1994 batch Karnataka cadre IS is the second additional secretary in the PMO and handles the finance and economy verticals. He manages all issues related to the ministries of finance, corporate affairs and Niti Ayo. 
Before joining the PMO, he was a joint secretary in the finance ministry. Hari Ranjan Rao, a 1994 batch Madhya Pradesh cadre IS, is the third additional secretary in the PMO. He has previously served as secretary to Madhya Pradesh CM Shivra Singh Chauhan and oversees the technology and governance vertical. These include ministries of science and technology, electronics, IT and communication. Under the governance vertical, he looks after home affairs, information and broadcasting and some of the flagship programs of the government including direct benefit transfer and digital payments. A dynamic officer, Rao is credited with transforming the tourism sector in Madhya Pradesh during his tenure as tourism secretary and managing director of MP Tourism Board. Known to be a tech whiz kid, Rao was posted as administrator Universal Services Obligation Fund in the Department of Telecommunications before coming to the PMO. 1994 batch Bihar Kader IS Atish Chandra is the fourth additional secretary in the PMO. He handles the rural vertical, which includes the ministries of rural development, agriculture, Panchayati Raj and Jal Shakti. Before joining the PMO, Chandra was working as CMD, Food Corporation of India. There are two joint secretaries in the PMO. They are C. Sridhar, a 2001 batch Bihar Kader IS, who looks after the crucial human resource vertical. All appointment-related files come to him. Besides, he also handles matters related to personal, law and justice, cabinet secretariat, anti-corruption units and vigilance. The second case is Rohit Yadav, a 2002 Chhattisgarh Kader IS. He looks after the infrastructure and resources vertical in the PMO. The ministries of road transport and highways, railways, shipping, civil aviation, housing and urban affairs, petroleum and natural gas, power, coal, mine come under him. Yadav had previously served as a private secretary to the then Commerce, Industries and Civil Aviation Minister Suresh Prabhu. Four Indian Foreign Service officers are currently in the PMO on deputation. They are Rudra Gaurav Shresht, who is a Joint Secretary, Vivek Kumar, who is the Prime Minister's Private Secretary, and two Director Rank Officers, Yadav Manhar Singh Lakshmanbai and Shweta Singh. There continues to be a very distinct Gujarat link in the Modi PMO. The Gujarat officials, both from the services and outside, continue to be powerful in the PMO and are some of PM Modi's most trusted lieutenants. All of them have been associated with Modi from his time as Gujarat CM. It is not just P.K. Mishra, Principal Secretary to PM Modi, who was earlier Principal Secretary to Modi when he was the Gujarat CM. There are others in the Modi PMO with Gujarat link. While one of his peers, Hardik Satish Chandra Shah, is a Gujarat Kader IS, three of his OSDs, Sanjay R. Bhavsar, Hiren Joshi, Pratik Doshi are also from Modi's home state. Hardik Satish Chand Shah is PM Modi's private secretary and first moved to Delhi on central deputation in 2017 and was first appointed private secretary to Anil Madhav Dave, the then Minister of State, Environment, Forest and Climate Change. An environment engineer by qualification, Shah moved to the PMO as deputy secretary in 2019. In July 2020, he was appointed as private secretary to the PM. Government officials, who did not want to be named, said that Shah influenced the Modi government's decision to ban single-use plastic. Hiren Joshi is the officer on special duty, communications and information technology. He moved to the PMO in 2014 when Modi became the PM for the first time. He is the man responsible for managing the PM's digital footprint across platforms including Twitter, Facebook, website, among others. He not only manages Modi's social media accounts, but also keeps a hot eye on what is said on social media platforms about the PM and also briefs him. Government sources in the know say that as OSD Communications, Joshi has another important mandate to manage the media narrative. Originally from Rajasthan, Joshi, who has a PhD from Indian Institute of Information Technology and Management in Gwalior, also taught at the Manikya Lal Verma Textile and Engineering College in Bhilwara before changing his career path. He has known Modi since 2008. Pratik Doshi is the OSD Research and Strategy. Under rank outsider in the power corridors of Delhi, he moved to the PMO in 2014 
when Modi became the PM for the first time. Serving and retired bureaucrats who did not want to be named said that he is known as the ears and eyes of Modi. Though his official designation is OSD Research and Strategy, his actual responsibilities are not limited to that. Sources say he gives inputs and feedback on all selections, from top officials in the government to vice chancellors of university and directors of IITs before the appointments are cleared by the PM. A graduate of Singapore Management School, Doshi has worked as a research assistant in Gujarat CMO when Modi was the CM. Sanjay R. Bhavsar is the OSD appointment in tour. A Gujarat cadre officer, Bhavsar moved to the PMO in June 2014 and manages PM's appointments and tour schedules. A chemical engineer by qualification, the nominated Gujarat cadre IS was Modi's OSD when the latter was the Gujarat CM. Besides Joshi, Doshi and Bhavsa, the PMO has a fourth OSD, Ashutosh Narayan Singh, a former journalist. However, Singh does not have a Gujarat link. Before joining the PMO in 2016, Singh was Associate Executive Editor in IBN 7. Having worked in the media for a decade, Singh is clued into his job. Besides media research, he also gives inputs for PM Modi's Hindi speeches. That's all for now. Do follow us on the Prince YouTube channel and social media accounts. This is Moshumi Das Gupta for The Print.